Sometimes there's a disturbance in our modern day force. It's like a stupid tattoo of the stupidest tattoo. A hero emerges. The more I thought about it, the more I had to get it done. A person with a plan so well formed. I was thinking about it for a couple years. People stop everything they're doing to help. He loved it, right? I mean, just from the start, he was like, I want to do this now. Enter Mitch the Fuge Willette. He's got a graphic design business, a drink named after him, and was tired of hearing Star Wars fans at conventions joking about his tattoos. And they think they're being funny by jumping into the, so where's your Jar Jar tattoo? I can just take my shirt off and show them a, the most absurd Jar Jar tattoo they've ever seen. Yes, half serious, half for a joke with bulging eyes, amphibious skin, thumbs pointed up a la comedian Steve-O, Mitch now has the ultimate comeback tattoo. Three seven hour sessions, possibly the most painful thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> His permanent pastiche applauding Star Wars prequels is the handiwork of Chris Dingwell at Portland Squirrel Cage Studios. It's also the internet's new favorite back tat. People just saw that and started retweeting and retweeting. Which led to questions about Mitch's personal life. For the record, I don't live in my parents' basement. I'm married. To a very supportive wife. I have C-3PO and she has R2-D2 on the other leg. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes. For Mitch Willette, that hero is Jar Jar Binks, spread across his shoulders. Haters can hate. Fans can take selfies, the one thing he won't tolerate. What about the rumor that Jar Jar is a Sith Lord? I hate it. In Portland, Dustin Blinkowski, <laughs> New Center, Maine.